Hey guys, and welcome back to The Wandering Wind. I apologize if I don't seem like I'm completely, um, well, but, you know, uh, reading some tweets today really got me frustrated, and one in particular, I've been doing very good. I've been doing very good, and I've been doing very good at not talking about politics, not talking about Trump. Today, I had to break that promise to myself, and I have to go back to talking about the politics, because today, five hours ago, Donald J. Trump, our president, at least for the time being, hopefully, um, tweeted, another very bad terror attack in France. We are going to strengthen our borders even more. Saga Nancy must give us the votes. To get additional border security. Um, okay, first of all, let me fact check you real quick, buddy. The attacker for the attack in France today was actually a natural born citizen, so a border wall there would not help them. Two, <laughs> we share no borders with, um, France at all anyway, even if you count the um, World War II holdings that we may have had, even that doesn't count. Um, and finally, you're just pushing for your border wall so that you don't have to give up whatever money that you would have to put into it as well, because it's $5 billion. <laughs> and then shortly after that, tr that, that trash of a tweet... He tweeted out something else. The Democrats and President Obama gave Iran $150 billion and got nothing. But they can't give $5 billion for national security and a wall. <sighs> Mr. Trump, you're asking for $5 billion for a completely arbitrary, according to you, solution to a problem that isn't even really a problem, okay? More of our domestic terror attacks are caused by our own citizens, okay? Our own citizens. In fact, I have done my research. I have done my due diligence. There have been more American-born citizens that have caused these terror attacks in the last um, 10, 15 years than any of the foreign um, illegals that have come into our, into our borders in that same amount of time. We've had more American-born children shoot up our own schools than we have um, illegal immigrant children. We've had more unstable individuals shoot up all our malls and stuff than any illegal immigrants. You, however, have the narrative and have the gall to keep pushing the narrative that the immigrants are, are the problem, not our policies, not our own securities within the border. You just want to push out anyone that you feel is a threat to you because you know very well that if the illegals come in and then become, or even just foreign people come in and become legal citizens and then vote after seeing what you do, you'll be out of a job and, you, and many of your friends will be too. That's your whole problem. It's not that you think, it's not that you know for a fact that they're all criminals, because guess what? They're not. They're not. They're not. Oh, God. What is with all these people that really want the wall just because one man says that that will solve all our problems? The wall is not a cure-all. It's not a panacea. It's not... A, an, eleg an elixir that will solve all of our issues. It's a patch at best. It's like putting a Band-Aid on, an, uh, on a gaping wound. It's like putting, it's like putting a cork 
in a three-foot gash in the side of a dam and saying, oh, well, the leak's fixed while the dam is still leaking. It's like... <laughs> It's like putting a man like Donald Trump into the White House and saying, oh, well, we fixed it. And then finding out two years later, oh, guess what? We didn't. Um, yeah. Oh, God. What can I say about this other than I hope, I hope you give up before, um, before the DOJ pushes you out. Before, De before the deputy director of the FBI forces you to face the music, I hope you just go ahead and face it on your own because it'd be a lot easier on you. There are a lot of things you have to answer for now. It's coming out by the day that there are more and more charges that are going to be filed against you. And your only hope now is to get another election. And the thing is, with the way your popularity has been going, falling into the 40s and 30s per, a percent of approval rate, I don't think you have the numbers. Just like you don't have the numbers for a border wall. Just, because, just like you don't have the numbers for a lot of the things you want to do. But because of democracy, you can't. Unless you were to circumvent democracy. And then you've got yourself an issue there, too. I really hope, I really hope that you don't think that this is over because it's not. It's not. I'm sorry. I wish I could say that I agreed with you on things. I wish I could say that you were right because he seemed like a really, um, you seem like a really passionate and really successful person. But at the same time, you're really, really sad in the way that you live your life. And I'm sad for you because of that. <sighs> anyway, that's my rant for the for the month on politics. I just, I couldn't help it. Today's tweets were just a bit much. And... It's not just been today, it's been this last whole month, but I've been I've been good. I've been good. I haven't talked about it. So I apologize for talking about it now, but I just wanted it out of the way so I could get back to being normal <laughs> at least for a month or two. I hope you guys didn't feel um too off put by today's subject matter, but I just didn't want to continue holding it in when I knew it would, it would just get worse. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon. And until next time, I love you. And I'll see you again next time.